have my laundry going in the background, so I hope that you can still hear me. But uh, I wanted to do this video to show you guys this easy way that I found to make these cute little sample labels. I used to do my labels on cardstock, and there's a video on how I do that really cheap and simple way to make um, little cardboard sample label visuals. And I could, and I also used to do some labels sometimes on our Print It Yourself Sensi labels through Microsoft Word, but I find that the templates are difficult to work with, and they always frustrated me, especially where I always like to make pretty detailed designs and stuff like that. So I found these perfect um, Print It Yourself labels, and Print It Yourself business cards, and Print It Yourself postcards. And the company that provides them is Avery, which is a well-known printing company. And they actually have a program provided when you buy the paper that you don't need to download anything. You can just kind of go on their website and they have um, a really easy way to make your own labels there. So I thought that was really awesome and I needed to try that out because um, I knew that it was going to be really good if I could find some quality. And I did come home and play around with the programs a little bit and got familiar with some of the different tricks and things like that. And as you can see, I've made like stacks of different kinds of resources and cards and things like that. And I have this one covered up because it's a personal special. So I just kind of wanted to show some of the designings that you can do on it. Um, then I have like thank you for your order cards and just standard little messages. And everyone needs a Scentsy lady, let me be yours. It has my information. And then, uh, like I said, just these, these are stickers, so you would put them on your bags for your samples, like so. So I will leave the templates for the Pear Blossom and Cucumber, Apple S'mores, and Jammy Time, because those are the three that I have pre-done up. And then I will also leave the templates for the completed versions that we do here on video. The first thing that you're going to want is a laptop or computer. And then you're just going to want to make sure that you have a printer to print out your work. And once you have these, you're going to want to have an idea of what you're going to make and print. And once you have those things, you're ready to find your label or your cards to get started. In this video particularly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the labels. So these are the labels that I'm going to be using. They are the Avery brand Print It Yourself mailing labels. And the important thing that you need to take note to is the number that's going to be right here on your packaging. So you're actually going to need to have your packaging handy and you're going to need to be able to reference to this number when it's time to start. So, like I said, these are the labels, but this company also has postcards and business cards and invitations and birthday cards and just print it yourself everything. So, I grabbed some postcard sizes and some business card sizes and the labels, and they're all under $5 each. And they come with 250 cards for the business cards and for the labels you get 300 labels. So they're going to last you quite a while. And as you could see when I showed you the sheets, there are 30 labels per sheet. And you do have the option to either print out the same identical labels throughout the sheet like this or you can actually specify what you want on each label, which I thought was really cool because any other program I've ever run into didn't give me the option to change each label if you had more than one different samples, more than one different since you're making samples of or different things you wanted and you didn't need 30 of the pear blossom and cucumber, say. Um, you can just do one or two or however many of what you need and fill the rest in with whatever else you're going to do. I'm going to meet you guys back on my computer screen and show you how to get started. 
Okay. So the first step is to go into the browser of your choice. And you're going to want to go into www.avery.com. And then that number I showed you on your product pack, you're going to go up here into the right hand corner where it says enter product number or keyword and you're gonna type in your product number and click enter. And it's actually gonna show you the labels right here. You just click on those. And then there's an area that kinda of tells you where you can buy them, how much they are. And then you can come right here to design and print and click that. And it's going to actually bring you to this page with a bunch of templates that you can use. So if you want to use one of the already made designs that they have, you can do that. Just type in your uh, scent name and all that stuff. And use one of the visuals that they already have pre-made. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to completely make your own from scratch two different ways. So I'm going to show you how to do one first using an image that you've already made. So if you check out some of my other videos, I do quick walkthroughs on some stuff with PicMonkey and that's the website that I like to use to make my graphics. So the first one that I'm going to show you is how you would add a graphic that you already have made on PicMonkey or another website onto the label. So all I did was I selected the very first option which was the blank template, and it brought me to this page. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get your image on there is you're just going to want to come here to the left-hand corner and click on images, and then you're going to want to add an image from your computer. Then it's going to pop up here in the center really tiny. And so what you want to do is you just want to drag it. And you can also fit it this way. If you want to just narrow it or just widen it, you can do that with these little dots. But you don't want to affect the Sensi logo in any way. And then once you have it filled in, you're just going to come up here to preview and print. And the big thing that you have to make sure, um, the website will prompt you about it as well, but whatever different program you're using to print, there's going to be different names and different prompt options for this, but you want to make sure that you don't fit to frame. So however it words that, whether it says actual size or sometimes it'll say um, it'll say stretch image and then that box will be checked and things like that but you want to make sure that you don't fit it to frame you want to uncheck that box when it's checked so with Mozilla Firefox browser in particular it gives you the option to print actual size so that's what I'm going to do. If you're using Google Chrome, it'll give you the fit to frame option. It'll already be checked on the fit and you're going to want to uncheck that. So here's the print option. And then of course you're just going to want to click print. And that's all there is to that. Now these are going to print off onto my label stickers which I'll show you at the end when they're all done and now I'm just going to quickly show you how you can make them right from scratch
Okay, so I'm just back here um, on the Avery website after you click on your product. And we're going to want to do the same thing that we did last time and just go into the design and print online option. And then you could use a template, one of the ones that they provide. They do have a lot of really cute ones. You could probably definitely find one that goes with whatever you're trying to do. We're just going to click on the blank template to start from scratch. And then what you can do is right here in the same place where I got our images last time you can go up to text and you can either do a circular shaped text or just a regular text box the circular shaped text is going to actually wrap around the label and you can size it the way you'd like so that's what I'm going to do for this particular example so I'm going to start with the just don't eat me and then you can actually highlight your text and you can pick what kind you want and if you want to change just one letter or just one word you can do that you just have to only highlight what you want to change so that goes for anything for color for font for size if you want to make something stand out and make it bigger or or make every letter a different color things like that you can do all that, but I'm just going to keep it simple. And I'm going to make it a nice pink since we have a purple one already, the one that I made last time. You just go in there and get your color, size it out. And this is what I meant by you can kind of change the way it's rounded. If you wanted it to be really rounded, you can do that or you can do this and you can size the way that you actually want the circle and you can also move it around like this so if you had a circular object and you wanted it to circle around on the side you can do that etc etc put that right there and then I'm just going to add a normal text box and I'm going to do the smell me, warm me, and I want the smell to be in some kind of writing. And we want the knees to be kind of plain plain but pretty and this is just a really quick edit that I'm doing here to show you guys how to do it usually I would put a lot more detail into it and you might want to like design it put things around the sides and things like that like you saw with my other image I had the bar Oh, that's way too big. Yeah, that looks good. So I am just going to keep it simple again. Leave it all pink for now. And I need to shrink these down a little bit. And I don't think I like the way that that circular text looks for this particular design. I just wanted to 
show you that you can do that because it's good for titles and things like that. Like if you were doing the sample label with the um, de scent description, which I was doing something different today because I already have all my scent description labels printed off. But if you were doing, let's say, um, a blueberry cheesecake sample, it would look nice to have your blueberry cheesecake in circle maybe in some kind of um, bold font so that it's standing out. But for this particular design, I am going to take away the circle because it just wasn't looking right. So there we go. Now we have our main outline. And you're going to want to have the Scentsy label on it just to keep it safe. And I might put this down here instead. And I think I am going to go into shapes. So if you go into this section here, it does give you some pretty simple shapes and things like that. I just uh, can't stand printing it off this simple or even giving you guys the template of something that is this simple. Doesn't have to be perfect, of course, but I want it to at least look nice. So we're going to go into shapes, like I said, and in here in the more you'll see that they give you some pretty basic shapes that you can use. I'm just going to grab the heart. Make it a nice light pink. And I might put a little warmer there as well. Now another cool thing that this program allows you to do is let's say you were trying to add your logo and it had the white background and you wanted to remove that. You can actually come right here to where it says set transparent color and you can click the white background and it will remove the background completely from the logo for you and turn it into a PNG file completely on its own. So I find that really helpful. That's about all I'm going to do to this one. Oh, actually, I might add in wax sample, uh, just so that they know what it is. And I'm just going to leave that black and simple. And a little bit smaller than the actual design. Throw that right here. And there we go. So it'll be the exact same thing when you want to print this. You'll just go into your preview and print. Make sure that when you select it, you're unchecking the fit to frame or selecting print actual size. Click the print it yourself. Print now. And then I'm going to save it quickly because I need to give it to you guys as a reference. And then when I open it, it'll do the same thing as it did last time and it'll bring me to my print preview where I can just click to actual size. So while I'm here, I'm going to show you really quick what happens when it's on fit to frame. It will actually shrink your picture, which looks like it's a good thing, but it's actually not because the labels that we're using are sized to fit the actual size exactly. So where you designed your image is inside the 
the sticker part perfectly. And so you want to have it printing the actual size. Nothing's going to be cut off. Sometimes at the very bottom on the last three stickers, a little tiny bit will be cut off of the bottom. And that's just the last three stickers. And it's only not even a quarter of an inch that's cut off. So then you're just going to print them off and you're going to be good to go. And here they are. So these are the labels that we just made. And like I said, I'm going to leave you the templates for these and for apple s'mores, pear blossom and cucumber, and jammy thyme. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your downline to help them too. Thanks for watching. If you're looking to make uh, your own business cards or advert cards, uh, you can do the exact same thing, uh, follow the exact same steps that I just went through, only when you're typing in your product number, you're going to want to type in the product number for your business cards or your postcards. And like I said, Avery Brand does have sizes for everything that you can imagine. They even have print-it-yourself fabric labels, so you can do your own personalized stuff on your clothes. Um, you can make wall stickers. They have everything. When I got home, I kind of looked into it, and I found that they had hundreds of options that they didn't even have at wa my Walmart. And even when I was shopping at Walmart, I was floored by the amount of stuff that I could do. So again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to share if you found this helpful. And I'd love to hear about how you did, so if you end up printing out any of your own labels or cards or anything like that, let me know, and uh, email me a picture.